Welcome back. Subject of discussion today is acute rheumatic fever. And we will touch many points of the disease like uh, epidemiology, clinical features or clinical presentation, call it, secular or complications, and for sure uh, prevention of the disease, a possibility of preventing the disease. We have in, uh, in the front two beautiful pictures, images of the disease. This one is a uh, rash, a specific one with a uh, sharp delimitation at the margins. And the second is a uh, subcutaneous nodule. So let's go on. Uh, epidemiology. Peak incidence is 5 to 15 years old uh, children. So it means this range of uh, age is most commonly as incidence, but as well can occur earlier or later uh, from this range. And is most commonly seen in girls uh, twice as, as uh, boys. Where we can find uh, acute rheumatic fever? Mostly in countries with poor socioeconomic status just because um, they are suffer all fields and and especially uh, medicine and there are a poor treatment of the diseases especially infectious or um, even mean of no antibiotic access at uh, hospital or by people that are living there uh, clinical features for establishing a diagnosis we need uh, the following uh, scheme of uh, establishing diagnosis or you have two major clinical uh, features or one major and two minors and uh, after that you can establish for sure the diagnosis and uh, when appear uh, the disease uh, as I say, despite of uh, developing world, as well we have countries uh, without antibiotic treatment, and acute rheumatic fever appears usually after two to four weeks after the onset of strep pharyngitis. In spite of treating this strep pharyngitis, it is missed. It is it is uh, missing a drug like penicillins and develop acute um, rheumatic fever. Uh, let me count you five uh, symptoms, major factors of the acute rheumatic fever. Uh, as for your uh, mnemonic, you can memorize in the following way, like arthritis, carditis, uh, subcutaneous nodules, erythema, uh, specific one, and chorea. So what means joint arthritis? It is migratory arthritis. Patient can uh, uh, comply with arthritis uh, uh, in joints like knee and after have also pain in uh, uh, articulations or or, uh, or joints like elbows or wrist and it, it's called migratory. Uh, Inflammatory carditis, it's inflammation of the heart that is diffuse usually. Subcutaneous nodules, as you have uh, seen up the beautiful pictures on the right side. And erythema marginatum, it is a sharp delimitation from the normal or an effect zone of skin. And Sidenhan Korea. Uh, it is uh, it is called the jerking movements involuntary and minor criteria so you know minor criteria also are called non-specific they can also be um, encountered in many uh, of other diseases of other diseases and uh, they are non specific but uh, they can contribute to uh, confirming or establishing a diagnosis based on these uh, symptoms. So fever, arthralgias, elevated uh, erythrocyte sedimentation rate and C-reactive protein. 
they are for inflammation and are uh, highly non-specific for the disease but are a criteria also and prolonged PR interval a late sequela or a complication of the acute rheumatic fever a valve affection if uh, to talk uh, regarding a cord affection so mitral stenosis uh, take a look at this mitral stenosis it is most commonly mitral regurgitation is mostly for uh, infectious endocarditis if it, it is not uh, provoked by IV uh, drug abuse or uh, user how we can prevent uh, acute rheumatic fever if patient is detected to have uh, pharyngitis and by uh, rapid uh, strep test it is uh, confirmed that have group A streptococcal um, infection a patient will receive penicillins penicillin V or G or any of the uh, compatible penicillin and uh, bacteria will be eradicated so in this way we can prevent uh, the development of acute rheumatic fever thank you for your watching see you soon